which of the following is not mentioned as a benefit accrued by children of working mothers so what kind of benefits are we talking about here we are talking about the economic educational and social benefits and what are those benefits where are those stated those are stated in the second paragraph okay so let's see the daughters are more likely to be employed yes that is true it says daughters of working mothers completed more years of education were more likely to be employed and in supervisory roles so this is correct their sons preferred marrying working women now where is this stated this is stated in the third or rather fourth paragraph where it says the study found that sons raised by working mothers were significantly more likely to have wife that worked but is this a benefit according to the passage it says that this aspect comes out when we are talking about richer understanding of the relationship between work and family it is not necessarily a benefit stated in the study this is not explicitly characterized as a benefit so this is not to be considered as a benefit and the third one their sons spend more time on household activities yes this is explicitly stated as a benefit sons of working mothers did spend more time on child care and household so second is not mentioned as a benefit so the answer is b